lethargic sloth here, and well, it's just been announced by the European Broadcasting Union, or EBU, that Russia is officially out of the competition. So I wanted to share a couple thoughts about this, just some quick thoughts that came to mind. Um, first, I have a quote from the EBU about the proposals to try to let contestant Yulia Samulova compete and they offered her a spot to compete via a satellite and they also tried to get Ukraine to let her in for this one contest kind of like any world competition like US citizens going to Iran to compete in weightlifting or something you know they can usually bend travel rules and restrictions for competition religious events or anything of the like even for countries that are generally tense with each other so uh, here's the quote quote these proposals were to either take part via a satellite or to change their chosen artist to one who could legally travel to Ukraine for the duration of the contest sadly both proposals have been rejected by Channel One and they have now announced that they do not intend to broadcast the Eurovision Song Contest 2017 Unfortunately, this means Russia will no longer be able to take part in this year's competition. We very much wanted all 43 countries to be able to participate and did all we can to achieve this, the EBU said. So, my thoughts. First of all, the Russia-Ukraine issue is a bigger issue than I'm willing to get into on a short video like this, but Yulia Samulova did a tour in Crimea in 2015 and apparently she flew in from Russia to Crimea rather than going through Ukraine, checking in Ukraine and going through and this got her banned for I believe it was three years. Crimea was annexed by Russia and uh, because of the tensions there she's not allowed to enter Ukraine therefore not competing like I said, they did offer her satellite, but she, uh, Russia, rejected this, and they refused to put in another entry that could take her place so they could actually travel to Ukraine. Uh, you know, this whole thing is a political dark cloud over a contest which isn't supposed to be about politics. So I'm not going to place a huge deal of blame on Ukraine because that's their laws. My fiance is Ukrainian and Russian so I understand a little bit of what's going on. But I think if you're going to host Eurovision it's your responsibility to let everybody everybody who's chosen to compete. I think that's your responsibility as a host to allow anybody and everybody to participate who are selected. Of course my heart goes out to Yulia Samulova because how much input did she have on this decision? Probably not much. She probably was there while they were discussing everything just in the dark as we were. I don't know, perhaps she said she didn't want to compete on satellite rather than be there. I don't know that to be fact or fiction, but it's going to be hard for her, this whole situation, so my heart goes out to her, and I hope she gets her music and message heard, and maybe she'll get another chance at Eurovision in the future. So the big loser in all this is the fans, the fans of Eurovision who want to see all the countries compete. I like having as many countries as can be in there competing. It's nice to see different songs from different languages and different countries. Unfortunately, they're letting politics get in the way of the competition. So the fans end up being the biggest losers, just like last year with Romania being pulled because of non-payment when they could have easily pulled Romania out of the contest after the competition and then said no future participation. This kind of thing really bothers me because it's a competition about bringing people together and instead all we end up doing is pointing out more differences so 
it, it bothers me that the song got pulled. I don't think she was going to win with this song, but to have her participate in the contest was very good for the contest itself, good for Russia, and just her spirit and energy would have been incredible on stage. So it really is a shame that Russia's not going to be participating this year. I just wish that for a competition like this they could overlook differences and make an exception to bring her and her delegation in for the contest, but I'm not going to sit here and say that I side with Russia or Ukraine on this incident because there have been bad blood on both sides for a long time. Unfortunately, most of the people I talk to just want the fighting between Russia and Ukraine to be over, so it's more of a tragedy than anything, the governments and their egos. But it's a shame that this has to leak into the Eurovision Song Contest, and I can only hope next year Russia's back and competing again because they always send amazing entries, and I think the Eurovision Song Contest is much better having Russia in it. But that's just my opinion. And tell me below what you think. How do you feel about this whole situation? Do you like that Russia's not able to go? I, I don't want to turn this into a huge political discussion, but, you know, tell me how you felt about the song. And, uh, yeah, I'd just like to hear from you and your opinions. I'm I'm disappointed by this. That's That's where I stand. But I thank you for watching, and please subscribe for contests and all kinds of videos related to Eurovision coming up before May 9th. Thank you. Lethargic Sloth, out.